Hello, welcome to Sitem. In this video, we will show you the essentials to set up your account to test our system for yourself. First things first, you will need to create an account on our dashboard by going to dashboard.sitem.com and click on join now. As you will be able to see on this page, you will need to fill in a valid email address and password. Select your use case, which can be either of the following. Wayfinding. Wayfinding is one of the most popular SITM use cases. It is used to guide cute customers to their favorite shop in a shopping mall, tourists to their boarding gate in an airport, or patients to their doctor's office in a hospital. Tracking. SITM provides everything you need to monitor the location of work field crews and manage their work wherever they are. Once you have selected your use case, you will have to agree to both the master subscription agreement and the privacy policy. You can take your time to read this as they are very relevant for your subscription and trial. We would also recommend subscribing to our newsletter because you'll be receiving news about our product through there. Finally, click on Create Account. This account is valid for 30 days, which is more than enough time to test our product. Once your account is created, you will be able to log in with your credentials. The first thing you will notice is that our dashboard will ask you to verify your email. So, check your email inbox. And then, once verified, you'll receive a warm welcome, which will remind you of the next steps you will need to take. Creating your building, calibrating your building, which is a very important step that comes after having uploaded a floor plan to the building. It basically means you will need to map the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth signals of your building with your smartphone so that our system can locate you accurately inside of it. Lastly, navigate and track. Once you click on Let's do it, we will focus on the creation of your building. So, to create your building, you will need to click on the New Building button. Then, search for your building in the search bar, or you can click on the exact point in the map if you're super geography savvy. Finally, give it a name. Go on, don't be shy. And ta-da! Your building has been created successfully. The dashboard will immediately redirect you to the new floor page, but fret not, this process is rather simple. Look, you will only need to give the floor a name. It is restricted to five characters, tops, and upload an image. The image can be either architectural or hand-drawn. If you're feeling adventurous and don't need much detail to test what our product can do, just take heed of the following. Your floor plans must be aligned and in the same format, either PNG or JPG. Your floor plans should have the same dimensions in pixels, the canvas size. Lastly, your floor plans must not exceed the 4096 by 4096 limit size. Then click on Create. Once the image is uploaded, you will need to align the building with the base map. You will have plenty of tools at your disposal. Resize by clicking and dragging any of the corners. Move by clicking on the circle at the center of your floor plan. Rotate by clicking on the arrow symbol at the edge of your building's canvas. If your building is more than one story high, you will need to repeat the process by clicking on the new floor button. But don't worry, the rest of the floors will be uploaded with the size, place, and rotation that you have set up for the first floor. Once floors are uploaded to your satisfaction, it's time to see what other cartography elements you have at your disposal. POIs. As the name suggests, these are points of interest that will serve as guidance to wayfinding users or checkpoints for tracking users. Geofences. These are polygonal areas that you can define in order to use them for geomarketing, 
For example, a user gets near a store and a pro promo pop-up message appears on their screen, or to gather positioning information from these areas, which will later be available to get different kinds of reports. These can be used for both use cases. Lastly, paths. This is going to be the spinal cord of your wayfinding ventures. By creating paths, you will give the system a way to calculate the shortest route from where you are to where you want to go. Lastly, when everything is done, you can create more users in your account by going to the left side of the screen and selecting the icon for users. Once there, you just have to click on New User on the top right corner of the screen to create a new one. Just as you did before when you signed up, you will have to enter an email and a password. However, in this case, it can be generic. For example, user1 at yourcompany.com. You will also need to give them a name, permissions, and assign one or various buildings to them. Then click Create and you're done.